Hello viewers, four DIYers here, back with a tutorial video for everyone. Now in this particular video here, I'll be doing a demonstration on how to test the throttle position sensor or TPS on a BMW. Now this is an older model BMW, so this may apply to a few different uh, models of BMWs or uh, engine sizes. Now this particular vehicle I'm working on here today is a 1984 BMW 733i that is equipped with the uh, inline six cylinder. The throttle position sensor is located right on the side of the throttle body of the vehicle. Now as you can see already I have removed the plug as well as the cap on the outside to show you how the uh, device does work. Now the normal issue is what the throttle position sensor can cause when it is faulty is erratic idling or high idle. Uh, you can notice also poor fuel economy or poor emissions and even a lack of power. Now the throttle position sensor does operate on three different types of values when the engine is running here. Now the first value being the idle cycle, which activates the micro switch down the bottom side here. Now you do have to make sure this sensor is adjusted properly here. So you can see there's elongated holes both on the top side and the bottom side as well. And you also have to make sure this throttle plate is fully closed to what the factory specifications should be set to and that there is no tension on the throttle cables as well. Now, once this micro switch is activated, it closes the circuit. Once you increase the throttle ever so slightly, you will go into this neutral space here. And when you go past this neutral space, either to full throttle or wide open throttle, you'll have another uh, contact which does activate in the bottom side here and does adjust accordingly to wide open throttle or full throttle. So the computer does adjust the air fuel ratio to that. So just to show you how this works here, basically, I do have it adjusted properly. So once I let off or open up the throttle plate here, you should be here a click. So as you can see, that opens up all the way. So go all the way around to the opposite side here. And you can see it does close the contact on the bottom side there. So closing it back up, you'll hear another click again, which is the micro switch activating. To ensure everything is working correctly, we'll be using a multimeter and it's put on the resistance here. So we're basically checking for continuity. And I also have it on the lowest setting as well. So it's on the 100 setting. Now first, to gain access to this here, you'll have a plastic plug which does snap on the outside here. Now when you look on the inside edge, you'll have a metal retaining uh, clip that goes all the way around here. Basically what you want to do is just take a small flat screwdriver, push those outwards, then pull the plug straight back and you will gain access to those pinouts. Now the pinouts are numbered on the front side here and you'll have three, starting with the top, you'll have three, middle one will be 18 and the bottom one will be two. Now three is for the wide open throttle position, 18 is an input signal basically, and the bottom one here which is number two is used for the idle. Now if this is working correctly, I do have the throttle plate fully closed. We should do a resistance test here and we should show that the switch is functioning correctly and it has closed the circuit. Now just to do a resistance test here to make sure these probes are working correctly, you see the breeze, just a very small amount of resistance there. That's nothing to worry about. So then when we do do the test there, if we show the same signal, obviously we do have a properly closed circuit. So just to check this here to ensure they're working, we'll use pins 18 and two. And you can see it does work correctly. Now again, what we want to do is we want to test this with the part throttle open. So going back here, I'll have a little bit of a hard time here because I am using two hands, one to hold the pins in place or the test probes in place, and the other one to open the throttle plate. So once you do this here, again using 18 and two, once we open it up, we should hear the click, and then you can see it is an open circuit. So we know that is working correctly. Next, moving on to the top ones, three and 18 will also do the exact same thing. So showing you how to do that again. As you can see, everything's held there in place. So basically when we increase the throttle, you can see at idle, nothing, when we increase the throttle, nothing. So it's usually about halfway. And we go to wide open throttle. As you can see, that contact also works there. Now the possibly that contact is a little dirty because it's showing a little more resistance than when we test when we held the probes together, but we can just clean that. If we're having an issue with that, it's not a problem. And even some drivers may never use wide open throttle at all, so it's not necessarily something to worry about. Now as for adjusting the TPS here, basically on the bottom side, what we'll have here is we'll have a small Phillips screw. On the top side, we'll also have a Phillips screw. Now in this vehicle here, what I did find that both of the screws were stripped, one was worse than the other. So if you do come across that scenario there, uh, what I would recommend is changing them out possibly for either a hex head or even an Allen head, something that you won't have any issues with down the road if you ever have to uh, have any attention to this specific area again, uh, which I'll be doing on this vehicle. 
So basically, you'll have elongated holes both on the top side and bottom side, which I'll show you in a minute how that works. And you can see we can rotate this. Now, hopefully you're able to hear this on the camera here, but when you rotate it um, counterclockwise, you won't activate the switch. Now, if you rotate it clockwise, just to show you what this sounds like here, Hopefully you're able to hear that, but I pushed it all the way down. Now the throttle plate is fully closed and there will be that audible click you can hear so that we know that switch is set correctly. So this is a very fine uh, specific area of how that switch does set. And it's basically either on or off. Now you don't want to push it too far where it does actually increase the uh, throttle or open the throttle plate at all. Now once you have that set, then you can go ahead and tighten up both screws on top and bottom. So just to show you a close up of how this works here, basically I did have this cap on here. As you can see there is the uh, part number right down at the bottom. And for removing this, basically what we have here is we'll have four tabs around the outside. But that's you know, the only thing that holds it on. It's actually glued together. Now it basically sits like this and what I did here was I just took a small flat screwdriver and went around the outside. I did have to take a razor knife just to cut some of the access glue in between the two pieces of uh, plastic cap and finally popped it free. Now you will hear some cracking noise that's just the glue breaking on the inside here and amazingly enough I did a fairly clean job of popping it apart. I was a little worried about breaking the cap on it. Now I will be replacing this piece anyways because I did have an issue with it I don't want to have another issue with it. So this is a permanently fixed thing if I do go ahead and buy a new one. Um, I kind of think it's a waste of time buying a used one because I might have the same issue down the road, not to mention I'll tie up money in a used one when I can put it towards a new one. Now for this here, what I did to fix it temporarily, as I mentioned earlier, the micro switch was faulty in this one here. So as you can see here how this works when the um, throttle plate is fully closed and it's on the idle thing, we'll hear this click again, hopefully you can hear it. And what that is, that's depressed down all the time. And then it only goes so far when you adjust this sensor back and forth on the side of the throttle body. Then when you increase the throttle a little bit, it'll kick off that idle cycle. So you can hear it there. And basically what happens here is the shaft that uh, holds the butterfly in place does extend way past the outside of the throttle. It'll go all the way around. And what we'll have here is we'll have a lobe right here, which does activate the wide open throttle or full throttle. Um, and as you can see, it does go a little ways, and it will hold it there, so the computer does adjust accordingly to that. So as you can see how that does work. And as I mentioned before, you can go ahead, and what I did here was the micro switch. I just used a little contact cleaner. I sprayed it down on the inside there, just basically kept clicking it back and forth until it basically self-cleaned itself, and it does work for temporarily. Now, so this concludes the rest of my tutorial video. If you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to post them below. Also, please subscribe to my channel and like my video. Thank you for watching.